I want to show you how you can use PowerPoint to make a picture book. So open up PowerPoint. I've got 2013, if you've got 2010 or 2007, it should look fairly similar. The first thing your students should do is they should have a story. So um, I've got one here in Word, ready to go. And what I've started doing here is in Word, I've put my, my story in there. I've been working out what sort of pictures I need for all of these little sections. I want this to be on one page and I want it to have a picture of a green boat. So how have I been labeling that? Well, I've been highlighting like this and going to review and adding a new comment. This is a good way for me to organize what pictures I need and what order I need to have them in. So I've been collecting some of these pictures and putting them in a folder. Here it is. And you can see, let's rename this one, I have been naming them with a number out the front so that they stay in the right order. This is important because I'm going to put them in PowerPoint automatically and PowerPoint is going to put them into my slides. So if I go back to PowerPoint now, I've got my Word document, I've got my folder of images. So in PowerPoint, I am going to go to insert a photo album. And when I click on that, it's going to ask me where do I want to get my pictures from. So I'm going to choose my folder of Owl and Pussycat pictures. Here it is. And I select all of them by going Control A to select all of the images and insert. So they're all there. Now I won't fit them to the slide because that might, that'll just make them really huge. I'm just going to have them um, as one picture on the page. I could choose to get a bit fancy with the shape of the frame. I'm going to give them a rounded rectangle and create. Okay, so what I've got so far is it's created a photo, photo album and it's put my pictures just in the middle here. Firstly, I'm going to change this background here from black to white because my text will look better. So let's format background, solid fill, white. Okay, and I want to apply that to all, and so they're all changing like that. Okay, so this will be my title page. Maybe I will, I could have picked another image to be my title page and put that number one in my folder. I didn't, but so I'll add that later. So onto the next page, and it's pretty standard format in a book to put the image on one side and put the writing on the other. So maybe I'll do that here. You can um, make it run over the edge of the page if you want. You can resize them, decide how you're going to organize it, um, and so on, and so that you've got the start of a book sort of happening here. Okay, I've got my pictures where I want them. Now I'm going to start putting my text in. So I'm just going to drag this over to the right, and my text is here. I'm going to drag that over to the left so that they resize to take up half the screen. Then to add my text to each slide, I just Grab each bit by highlighting it. Oops. And then drag it across and drop it on the screen here. So you can see it's there. I can then adjust this text box. And I can, in fact, adjust my text. So I'm going to change it to make it a certain size. Okay, I've adjusted the text the way that I want it. Maybe I'll even center it. Okay, now on the next slide, I want the same text as I have here. So I'm going to copy this, bring it over here, paste it. Incidentally, it pastes it exactly the same spot on the next slide. So that's good if the picture was on the same side as the one before, but it's not in this case. So I'll bring it across. Now, I'm going to um, get my text over here and copy it. And then here on this side, when I highlight this, right click, and I'm going to paste. But you can see when I run over the different options, I can choose where I'm going to, how I'm going to paste it. So I'm going to keep the text only. I'm going to get it to use the formatting that's already there. So if I click there, you can see that the text type is exactly the same as the last one. So if I work my way through there, I don't have to retype all my work. 
Um, I've composed it in Word where it's easy to see the flow of a, of a story, and then I'm putting it over here. Of course, you can also, um, if you want to add in a blank slide in the middle here, new slide, there's a blank slide there that students could draw their own picture on, for example. So when I um, want to print this out, I just go to File, Print, and I want it to print all slides. And when it does that, you can see that they'll come out like pages in a book. If I want to print on both sides, then I'll need to choose double-sided. And just make sure that you flip on the short edge so that they're not upside down back to back, um, on each other. If you're not sure, print a few pages in black and white first just to make sure you've got it right. So I hope that's been useful. Uh, even if you don't use all of it, the ability to insert photos as a slideshow is a really quick way to get a whole bunch of photos in there for a book.